Greetings and welcome. This is Sherry from Spiritual Magic Journey and this is your April predictions. Pick a card predictions for you. These are messages um, from the cards and messages from Spirit for the month of April depending on what you pick. So there are three stacks here with I think four cards in each stack. Oh. Our first stack has a beautiful red heart, second stack has a beautiful blue heart, and our third stack has a beautiful green heart. But before we get started, let me quickly say thank you for liking, sharing, and subscribing to my YouTube channel. Um, give it a thumbs up, comment, it really helps me out. Really appreciate each and every one of you. So let's dive right on in here, guys. Let's see what's going on for the month of April. I'll ring my bell. I'm going to start with our first stack, so I'll just push these back. Let's see what's going on. Let me get my glasses on first. <laughs> Make sure I can see. If you chose the beautiful red heart, you've got Celebrate Life. Um, a Father's Love. Balance. And seven and earth for the month of April. So let's dive right on in here and see what's going on here. Um, your first card is all about celebrate life. I celebrate every day by honoring and respecting all life on Mother Earth. Look how beautiful that card is. It's all about celebrating life. It's all about having fun. It's all about... Um, Stopping, you know, that saying, stopping to smell the roses. It's all about the little things. And this would be a good mantra, too, um, or invocation if you wanted to use this. I celebrate, celebrate every day by honoring and respecting all life on Mother Earth. This is all life, not just um, human life, but all life with the plants and animals, the land, and just getting back to nature. Um, protecting Mother Earth, protecting the animals, protecting the children, protecting, you know, uh, people who need it. This is just about honoring um, the beautiful uh, planet, our Earth, Mother Gaia, that we live on today. It's getting back to your roots. It's getting into the land, um, growing, planting which a lot of people are doing, um, recycling, you know, doing whatever you can to support the earth and all life, not only earth, but all life, helping your neighbors, helping an animal, volunteering, whatever it is that you can do to be in service, because this is what it's all about here, to bring in that abundance and, um, and we, um, Feeling like you've, you know, helped someone, bringing in that joy and compassion. It's all about um, helping, helping your fellow neighbors, helping anyone that's in need, doing what you can. This is what we need here on this earth at this time is more compassion, more compassion for people and for just the earth itself and the animals just helping doing whatever you can we need more compassion on this planet because of people are just so at odds and they're so against someone that doesn't believe in what they believe and they're so vile and there's so much hatred so why not celebrate life? Why not you celebrate life? So this is kind of like telling you to be in your own, I would say a little world, but to be in a, a state or grace of compassion, joy, and celebrating, you know, where you are in your spiritual journey, in your life. Your next card is a father's love. A father's love for his son or daughter never dies. The strength gained from such love is often unquitable. Undefiable, sorry. 
Okay, that's not it. Hold on. Unclaimifiable. Okay. In that it can be tapped into any time for whatever reason. Whether your father is still here or past, a father's love is one of the strongest bonds any of us will ever experience. So this is a being your father or father figure. Doesn't have to be your father. Could be someone, an uncle or friend or someone that was like a father figure for you. Whether they're here on this planet in form or in spirit. This is um, someone reaching out from, from spirit. Um, just wanting to acknowledge um, that they're with you. That they see you. They see everything that's that you've accomplished. And they're just wanting to um, say hi. Now, they're wanting me to speak on if your father is still alive. Um, if there's any reconciliation or any um, wounds or difficulties or miscommunications or you're just estranged from your father, this might be a time to kind of like uh, do some forgiveness, do some releasing so you can heal. This is about healing too, whether they're in spirit or whether they're here in form on planet earth. This is a great time to clear everything up, to make amends, to release, to forgive, and to heal. To get the monkey off your back, so to speak. To get it off your chest. To release that burden that we carry around when we all don't always get along with our parents. So this is, um, this is a great time to uh, work through that. Or just to release it. So, you know, I'm tired of, of just carrying this around. You know, I forgive. Whether they're in spirit, it doesn't matter. They can hear you. They're already resolved over there. It's you that may have some unresolved issues. So, write a letter. Write a letter to them. Or just speak it. And just release it. And forgive it. So, you may heal, release, and let go. And you can move on. Trust me, you'll feel much better when you do that. Your next card is all about balance here. So there's a need for more balance. And you've got a beautiful angel here that's, that's in a circle, like in a halo here. So this is a time to be um, maybe working with the archangels finding more balance in your life um there may be something that you're overdoing because you've got all the tools you see all the tools that he has he has the pinnacle he has the wands the cups and the swords there uh, with this card he has everything that he needs to make a comfortable life to have a beautiful abundant secure um, life before him but are you using all the tools and the resources that you have or so take a look take a step back and look because the resources are there for you and also there may be more um, something there to do with the balance in your life maybe you're overworking Maybe you're over drinking. Maybe you're doing something that you're doing more of. Maybe you're not getting enough sleep. Maybe you're not eating the right foods and feeling like sluggish and um, feeling like you're run down and your health's down. So take a look and see what you're doing. Change that because do you have the tools and resources there that are in front of you? This angel is presenting them to you to use. So call in um, whatever angel you're comfortable with, Michael, Raphael, um, Gabriel, um, Raziel, you know, whoever, Zachiel, Uriel, Ariel, it doesn't matter. Just call me in. Say, oh, I, I'm, you know, help me, assist me with the resources and the tools. But you're going to have to look in your own community. But there will be nudges and and downloads and things coming that will give you in the right direction if you can't find anything 
So just trust what you're getting. Your next card is the Seven of Earth. And it says, seeds well planted, a temporary pause in action, unnecessary worry. So it's like you've already planted the seeds here. <clears throat> and you may be taking a pause. And like you're, you're planting the seeds of something that is you're wanting to grow. And this could be a, your career, your business, or a relationship. It has to do more with the money or a career. It possibly could be a relationship. But I don't think you're trusting yourself. And I think you're worrying about it. And that's why we got the balance card next to it and all the resources and the tools that you have to make this a flourishing business or to ha ha make this a flourishing career. Because this is going to turn out to be successful if you stick with it. They're saying if you stick with it and don't give up and don't let worry, fear, and doubt, uh, you know, come into play and kind of rule and dominate what you're putting your hard work into because you planted the seeds you started something but you've kind of just stopped and maybe you've got to rework some stuff maybe you got to look at it from a different perspective maybe you've got to change some things that's okay they're saying that is okay just keep moving forward if this is a career change or you're thinking about moving um to a different job or you're getting uh not sure whether you want to take a promotion that they're wanting to give you more responsibility and work that's okay to take a pause and rethink what you want to do and but i feel like this is with uh entrepreneurship and maybe changing a career it possibly could be a change in career it's like you want to um, be secure. I feel like you want uh, wants more security, more financial, um, uh, solid security foundation up under you. You know, like a solid foundation, and that can happen. Um, that can be all yours. You have all the resources and the tools to move forward to uh, be successful and bring about what you've already planted because it's growing so keep tendering it they're saying keep nurturing it and keep moving forward and don't worry so much because you're going to be fine and you're going to be okay with it let's move on to our second stack which is our beautiful blue heart and we've got Crystal Ascension. Dream Talk. Trapped in Fear. And the Nine of Water. Ooh, I love how that turned out. So your first card is Crystal Ascension. I attuned to the universal wisdom and energy of the Crystal Kingdom. So you may be wanting to work with crystals. That could be a good invocation if you want to do crystal healing or learn from crystals or um, attune to them. It says, I am attuned to the universal wisdom and energy of the Crystal Kingdom. And you may be drawn to crystals. And crystals are um, beautiful energies to work with. They gather the wisdom and the information that a lot of them hold because a lot of them are record keepers. Um, a lot of them are healing stones. A lot of them, you know, people work with crystals for everything. So if this is something that you're looking into, um, this could be right up your alley with wanting to learn more. I've kept tons of uh, videos. If you look way back um, on my channel of all different kind of stones that you could work with to bring about different things. You know, you've got the love stones, you've got the luck stones, the, um, the love and luck and abundance and wealth and healing certain things. So really dig into it. Get you a couple of books and learn more. So 
I feel like um, this could be uh, the crystals calling you. And when you go and pick out your crystal, you'll know your crystal will pick you. <laughs> and it's like, you know how you go in and you see a crystal and it's like, oh my God, that's so beautiful. I gotta have that crystal. That is the crystal calling you. That is why you're so attracted to them. There may be certain crystals that you're attracted to that you just have to have. So work with that crystal. Get to know that crystal. Hold that crystal. Meditate with the crystal. Um, you can sleep with the crystal under your pillow. Get to know your crystal. This is mine. Sometimes called a philosopher's stone. If you use it regularly and you meditate with it and hold it in your hand and get the energy and feel what's coming from it, those crystals can talk and give you lots of wisdom. They have a lot to offer. So your next card is Dream Dog. This is your subconscious constantly and subtly, subtly, okay, I'm not going to pronounce this word um, correctly because it's on the tip of my tongue. Why can't I speak it right? Subtly speaks through your dreams. It's just one of the many ways in which your soul and those here in the spirit world can reach out and communicate with you through signs, symbols, messages, and more. Are you paying attention to your dreams? Are you having those dreams where everything is coming in? Or are you um, in your subconscious at night? This may be a time to keep a dreamer's get a dreamer's dictionary or and keep a journal of what is coming through so you can go back and look at it. Are you getting the signs, symbols, and messages in your wake time? Because that is the way spirit communicates with a lot of people. It's not necessarily in words unless you're clear audience. Most of the times it's in messages and symbols that just show up. It's in animals and uh, pennies on the ground the way our loved ones that's a big thing dimes um, butterflies it just depends on seeing something out of the blue and then feeling what you're feeling and you're like oh yeah that was my mom oh yes that was my dad or yeah I can tell that was so and so who crossed over or I can feel my spirit guides with me they're giving me this same symbol. They're giving me these repeating numbers. They're giving me this. They're giving me that. So pay attention. Write it down. Get a journal. Um, or get a notebook and just keep track of everything that you're getting. Now your next card is Trapped in Fear. And we got to get you out of that. Because your um, next card is um, the Wish card. So you're going to get your Wish and your prayers are going to be answered. So what are you so entrapped in fear about? What have you put your own self in? Because this is mostly of your thoughts. And you've kind of like entrapped your own self with your intellectual, you know, your intellect, your thoughts that are coming through that may be um, overpowering or just coming in. Um, we need to get this under wraps because there's nothing to be in fear about at this moment because fear can rule um, fear can debilitate it can control so it's kind of like in a controlling you and where you're getting this fear from I don't know exactly um, where are you getting this fear from so whatever it is if it's from the TV social media you need to cut that loose cut it off get out in nature this is what's going to bring you back out of that fear is and I'm going to I can only talk from my experiences and what I'm getting from my team is you're going to have to get out in nature you're going to have to do something different yeah that can be seem a little scary but you're going to have to do something different so you're going to have to get out in nature you're going to have to be out in the trees, um, by a river. If you can walk, that's really going to help you. Um, re-invocations, mantras, uh, 
help reinforce positive thoughts in your mind. So you may want to come up with some great invocations. Uh, maybe that I am, I invoke. Um, let's see. I invoke mental clarity and know that I am supported with everything that I do. That would be a good one. I invoke mental clarity and I am supported with everything that I do. So that would be a good invocation that you can do. And every time something, a negative thought comes up, just cancel that out and say something positive. Reinforce it with a positive um, invocation or word. You know, and there's lots of positive vibration words. Love, the universe, earth. Just, if you were sitting in front of me, we could go over all this, but you're not, so... And I don't know, <clears throat> you know, we can really dive deep into it. So, but I feel like you're walking out of that. You're going to get past this fear that is um, wanting to control your life. So you're not going to allow that because your prayers are being answered. So your fears and concerns are going to fade away with this nine of, of water because this is kind of like a wish card. You get your wish card, your prayers are being answered and you are on a more positive path with your thoughts and the way you're going. So don't let get too trapped up in this because it loves to just trap you and um, kind of confine you from moving forward. So let's not get, let's not let it do that. Let's like kick it in the butt, literally kick it in the butt. <laughs> And let that go but you're gonna be fine and your your uh, prayers are gonna be answered and your wish comes true and whatever it is you're working on this is a content time it's like um, it's, you're coming into a more content energy a more happy energy with that card so let's move on with our third stack and it is a beautiful green heart guys what did you get you've got the third eye chakra have fun suffering in silence we need a, and the three of air oh what is going on with you this is the third eye chakra. I see the wisdom in my higher self and apply the wisdom in my life. So, this is going to be you with, with the, these cards here. This is going to be you trusting in you. This would be a good in, a mantra or invocation that you want to use when you're going through a difficult time. Because you've got some cards that are difficulties coming up here and challenging times. I see the wisdom of my higher self and apply this wisdom to my life. So trusting your higher self, trusting your soul, believe in yourself that you have got this. So if you want to use that mantra or you turn it into an invocation, that would be great because you're going to be getting some stuff and you're going to, this card is just really standing out with the rest of the cards and this one. Because you got two great cards and two not so great cards. So are you letting the fear, worry, and doubt of what's going on in life get you down? Um, be mindful of everything that you watch and who you're looking at and what you're doing in your own life. But we'll move on. Till we get to the other two cards. This is have fun. Stop. When was the last time you had fun? When was the last time you took a chance and did something silly? Something totally unlike you. Something just for the joy of it. It's long overdue for you to let go of the analytical mind. Because that is what gets you in trouble <laughs> with these cards. Yes. Um, and give yourself and soul permission to have fun. That's what it wants. 
You have to trust in your higher self, your soul. Give yourself permission to have fun. It's okay. Give yourself permission to say no to others. Um, forgive yourself if you need to forgive yourself. Stop being so hard on yourself because you got the nine, which is suffering in silence. You're going to have to suffering in silence. This is like you're not able to sleep. You're worrying. You're in fear and you're in doubt. We need to let that go. We need to release and forgive whatever needs to be forgiven. And we need to heal. So this is um, something that may pop up. It's not going to be for everyone. This is not going to be for everyone that chose this chose this uh, stack. But we're here and you need to reach out. There's no use to suffering in silence. If it's just you and the monkey mind, well, we need to reinforce that with positive thoughts, invocations, nature, exercise, whatever we need to do, reaching out. If it's something else that's going on in your life, then you need to reach out and get help. There's nothing wrong with reaching out and getting help. You know, you've got the three of air. Great sadness, a time to heal, the need to forgive yourself and others. Did I not just say that? So there's something in here that can cause um, a little sadness that's going on in your life. And it possibly could do with the nine. But this is a time to release and forgive and heal. Um, and know that this too shall pass and nothing ever stays the same change is the only constant here so if you need to reach out and get help um don't be ashamed don't be afraid it's okay um it's okay to reach out everybody has to do it at some point in time in their life this is what it is here on earth we have our ups we have our downs but I want you to trust in yourself. I want you to believe in yourself. Have faith in your soul. Let your inner child do something. So what's calling out for you? This is how you work through this and get through this. Um, do something and have some fun. Get outside. Get out into the sunshine. Walk on the ground barefoot if you can. If, you, if you've got that type of weather. As we are going in the spring. We are here in the spring here in the States. So if you can get out, if you can do some guided meditation, whatever it is you can do, invocations um, to bring yourself out of this, um, even if it requires you to step outside in your community, in your town to get extra help, that's okay. That's going to be fine. Um, you're on, You're, you're going to be okay is what i'm getting so get the help that's necessary know that this too shall pass and and this won't last this is will not last so trust in your uh visions if you're getting any kind of visions um or downloads or information because you've got a, when, we, when we go through difficulties and challenges here trust me you've got your ancestors there you've got your whole spirit team and that includes guides, extraterrestrials, um, ancestors, helpers, joy guides, so many different beings that would probably blow your mind that start surrounding you. Um, and so pay attention at what, what you're getting because it possibly could be your third eye is opening. So lots of stuff could be happening here. But I want you to do something. I want you to do something fun. Um, because we had got the fun card in between all this. So that means they want you to do something fun out of the ordinary or what your inner child is calling for. And you may have that deep feeling inside of, oh man, I remember I used to just ride a bike or I used to jump rope or I used to play in the playground. It doesn't matter what it is. I don't care how silly you think it is. I want you to go do it. Go do it. Okay. So I'm going to leave it there, guys, and um, until next time, blessings.